The cartel is becoming filthy rich, transporting people and drugs into our country. Drugs to poison our people and massive numbers of people to cause the Border Patrol to dedicate their resources to processing people. Hello, I'm Jim Chilton. I am a fifth generation Arizona rancher in Aravaca, Arizona. My ancestors drove cattle from Texas to Arizona in 1885. It is a very serious issue. How many terrorists are coming through? How many pounds of drugs are coming through in these areas while the Border Patrol is diverted to Lukeville? It's very, very remote and it's much drier than our ranch. Bottom line, they have a wall at Lukeville, but people are cutting holes in it. We need the Border Patrol, enough Border Patrol to be near the spots. The cartels have made it a crossing that's effective for them now. They move people to different areas. People who pay the cartel $10,000 or 15 or 25,000, they have no choice. The cartel directs them to where, they're go where they should go. And one of the reasons the cartel switches locations is it causes uh, Border Patrol to have to go to those locations. At the same time, then the cartel is running drugs and bad people across in other areas. So in a sense, it's a, a method of controlling where everybody goes. It's a method for opening up other routes for crossing of, of really bad guys, drug packers. We've had MS-13s here at the ranch. We know that uh, there have been about 3,050 people walking through our ranch. So I think it's a diversionary tactic that the cartels have. I am really concerned about the terrorist issue. I've been predicting that this is a national security issue. It's an issue whereby terrorists could come into our country. It's an issue where these terrorists could at some point in time, like in Israel, uh, pounce upon uh, this country. Uh, it only took 19 people to take down the World Trade Center. What would terrorists do if you had several hundred, several thousand in this country?